Oh dear. That's funny, because the train never comes down this line. And what would you rather do? You know exactly what I'd like to do. Johnny, we're not blowing up City Hall. <laughs> oh, Johnny. See, until you came along, I was displacing poor people. Now, I'm destroying a hotbed of gang activity. What can I say? The public is fickle. Hello everyone, it is the Almighty Jeff and this is episode 20, the finale of the original Saints Row game. In the previous episode, we finished off our last chop shop. We completed the penultimate mission for the Vice Kings in which we, with the help of Benjamin King, led some of his former lieutenants into a trap set up by the police, thus taking away some more of their control. We collected our last round of CDs, we finished the last escort activity, and then we had the triple whammy of taking out all of our three rival gangs. We did Semi-Charmed Life, where we met up with uh, Price, or with a, well, he agreed to meet up to settle this once and for all, tried running us over with a, uh, a big rig, but we managed to chase him down and eventually kill him. We then targeted the Carnellis by chasing Angelo down at the airport and destroying his plane, and then finally we stormed the penthouse where Tanya was set up and managed to take her down as well while Benjamin King has basically left the city. Um, we got a, had a little cutscene showing how the Saints are now completely in charge and Julius has made us his right hand man but he seems to have got into a little issue with the police as well which is where this epilogue is going to be picking up. So we have a total of three more missions and one more activity all of which we are going to be tackling in this episode. We're going to take ourselves up to 100%. But anyway, we are back at the church. We're going to get ready to start up the first of these three missions. Stuffing the ballot. Okay. This is Chief Monroe. If you want Julius back, listen to what I've got to say. Now that stunt you pulled downtown with a rocket launcher cost my associates and I quite a bit of money. Now, I may not be an honest man, but I'm a fair one. So rather than turn Saints Row into a parking lot, I'm going to let you work off what you owe me. There's a mayoral campaign going on, and I want one of the candidates taken off the ballot. Marshal Winslow is in his campaign bus right now, and he has an appointment with the northbound. Park that bus on the train tracks tonight, or you'll find Julius's body floating in the river tomorrow. Don't disappoint me. Julius is counting on you. Oh, blimey. Okay. Incident downtown with a rocket launcher. I mean, we did, we, we've done that plenty of times. <laughs> I won't lie to you. It could mean uh, any one of it, S several occasions, but okay, so, they're holding Julius hostage, we've got to complete jobs for uh, the police, I'm assuming, if it's Chief Monroe. To take out a mayoral candidate, there you go, that's uh, pretty corrupt. Oh god, okay, right, we've got ourselves quite a hefty police presence here. Okay. Come on, come on. He's getting messed up good. He's getting messed up good. Oh, blimey. Okay, I was not paying attention there. Crap. Alright, let's try again. Okay, I think we got it. I think we got it. Alright, go, 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 go. Should we be taking this video? Oh, it's the other side. Crap. Come on, quicker, quick. Who the hell are you? Alright, 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 alright. Does do we have. Uh, okay. I'm gonna take this to forget and forget. We can fit it through. I just realized we're on a timer still. Okay, okay, get out of the way. We're on a time limit here. Forget about it. Okay, so let's leave them in the dust. Alright, how far we gotta go here? Yeah. Uh, it's manageable, though the bus isn't very quick, is it? That's tricky. You've got a, you've got a lot of people 
driving around and shooting you. You're know, FBI people. Okay. This is the first struggle. So we're taking out a political candidate. At no point does he make an attempt to sort of save himself, though. That's quite interesting. <laughs> He's just like, what the hell are you doing? I don't know. Crazy things have happened, I'm sure. <laughs> this is an average day. I was like, okay, you are a mayoral candidate. Just expect that at some point, someone's going to try and kill you. And if they try through a forgive and forget, I'm afraid there's absolutely nothing that we can do. <laughs> like, you know, they, they, they paid off the debts. Why are you doing this? I I'm from St. John myself. May well be, my friend, unfortunately. Uh, it's, it's out of my hands. Oh dear. That's funny, because the train never comes down this line. <laughs> there we go. Got it done. My respect hasn't changed. Do you, does it not, uh, do you not lose any respect for um, doing these last missions? That would have been interesting to know, because I could have just done the Snatch It 224 and then could have just kept this as the epilogue, but never mind. Uh, you live and you learn. All right, so let's go ahead and do the next mission. All right, let's get the second mission done. A little community service. Did you handle it? Where the fuck is Julius? Have you heard back from Monroe? Nice work, but I don't think I can let Julius go until you do a little more community service. We'll be in touch. Looks like we wait. Why? So we can let this jag off jerk us around? Fuck that! And what would you rather do? You know exactly what I'd like to do. Johnny, we're not blowing up City Hall. <laughs> it works all a lot. Alright, Johnny. What if they're keeping Julius there? Alright. But there's gotta be a better plan than let's be Monroe's bitches. You're right. There is. Marshall Winslow was a major public figure. And you can bet your ass that people would ask questions if the chief of police wasn't at his funeral. I say we hit Monroe during a funeral procession. That's to show whoever he's working with that we're not fucking around. You're saying we should assassinate the chief of police while he's at the funeral of the guy we just smashed? Yeah. <laughs> Don't tease me, Dex. Let's fucking do it. <laughs> All right. Pretty much in any other game, you'd probably be working for those guys. Johnny's gonna meet us there. Probably we're working for him for like several missions. We do one. They decide, yeah, you know what? I'm not doing this again. Let's just kill him. Why are there no vehicles? Why are there no vehicles? If you wonder where mine is, I, I took the taxi over. I couldn't be asked driving. <laughs> um, no, let's take this little bit of a uh, little bit of junk. We were searching for ages for a slingshot. For the bloody chop shop. One chance at this, so we can't fuck this up. Once we hit Monroe, we better get out of there quick. The last thing we want is to make a big scene. Yeah. Let's go. I mean, I feel like it's not going to go like that. We've got Johnny with us. He's not a Captain Stealth, is he, really? He's a, we'll be there like a sniper or like something with a silencer on it, and Johnny's just going to sit next to us with an RPG and just be like, fuck yeah, that's as how I'm going to take him out. Because <laughs> he's the best, that's why. He's there ain't no beating Johnny Gat, and yet, yeah, I've noticed again, the respect bar has not gone down, so it seems that for the epilogue, respect doesn't change. Which, uh, if I knew that, I'd have done the Snatch activity last time, probably. So this uh, this could have literally just been the epilogue, but I didn't know, so, yeah, you know. No, I'm sure you're not going to mind a few minutes of an activity, just before we... Finish it up. You can always skip over it if it's really that offensive to you. But I thought the respect would keep going down. It's kind of nice that it doesn't. It means that if you finish the story, you don't and you're and you're not like focusing on um, just doing all the activities and stuff like that. It means you don't have to build yourself up a few more levels to actually finish the game. So, because I think you had to in Saints Row 2. Right, to do the Ultar missions at the end. I think you, that still costs respect. But at the same time, it had the when you get to a certain point in Central 2, where you would have, been, would have had enough respect to do all the missions, uh, it just becomes infinite anyway, so you don't lose any. 
which I much prefer. But okay. All right, all right, all right. What the fuck are you doing? So we're at the mall. This is where we'll take out the general in the next game. set up across the street. He'll be giving us cover if things go bad after the hit. Hi, Johnny. To the roof before the mourners roll by. Take this. When the funeral procession comes into view, take out Monroe. He'll be the one in the cop car. There's a lot of cop cars. Comes the procession. Just line up with the cop car and... Ah, shit. There's more than one. All right, this ain't a problem. It'll just take a little more work to find out what car is. <laughs> real stealthy boys, real stealthy. Oh. Damn situation. Uh oh. This isn't part of the deal. Alright, come on, Dex. Dex! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay. And we've we've got a busted tire too. And a busted tire too. This ain't good. Isn't this forgive and forget closer? Probably gonna make me go all the way over there anyway, what I mean it means as I drip. It's interesting. <sighs> hmm. From the size of your donation, I can tell you. I'll be scooping Monroe up for weeks. Okay, we've done it. Hello there, young man. This is Alderman Hughes. That was quite a message you sent at Winslow's funeral. And trust me, I heard it loud and clear. Now, I'd like to set one thing straight. It was Monroe's plan to strong-arm the Saints. Personally, I've always thought you and I could have a much healthier relationship. Now, we've had a rocky start, yes, but why don't we fix that? Come over to my fundraiser tonight. Julius will be there, and between the three of us, I'm sure we can work something out. Hmm. Okay. Well, that is the final mission, guys. It's just cutscene, really. Um, I am going to head to the Snatch activity down here, and we'll get that finished. So I'll see you when we get there. Alright guys, we are here. Let's pick it up. Separation anxiety? Oh no. Wait, 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 wait. Where you think you're going? It's been a while since a client came in here. That's not to say my girls can't make you come. It's just that I ain't got no girls to do it. Sabe lo que digo? It's like this. I had the finest chicas on the block. Then these fucking padrotes come rolling around and all of a sudden I'm left with nothing but stained sheets and some lube. Look, I need my girls and I'm willing to pay whatever it takes to get them back. Okay, lady. Treat holes and return them to the brothel before time runs out. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, well, I've only got my one vehicle that can only fit one passenger at the moment. But, let's so find a viable alternative do. Uh, so yeah, so, turns out there are a couple of uh, LC stragglers hanging around, stealing these girls. Nasty. Why are they so far away? Sweetie, Ooh. Are you for a blow or a lay? Oh, I want the one of you. Thank you. Sorry, lady. I only need the one. You're gonna have to uh, make your own way back. Uh, 
All right, there we go. Level one done, see what level eight. All right, guys, we've just done a level seven. We have one more to go. We've got six holes to get, so that'll be two trips. Uh, not had too many problems so far. I'm pretty all right. I say that as I drive full head on into several pedestrians. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're in low on SMG ammo, but we've still got the pistol and some other weapons as well. So should be good. So starting off with a three. That's good. That's what we like. I, oh, you need to get out of the way of the holes so I don't accidentally kill them. Right, uh... Go take a fresh police car. Get, are you getting in? Are you getting in? Thank you. Crikey, O'Reilly. Alright, four stars of LC. That is not my favourite. Driving into walls even less so. Pretty, uh, pretty hands-on with the weaponry. So the more that we've got of Carnalis, the more tricky it's going to be. Everyone is driving in my way. I hate it. I hate it. I do. I do. Gets half of them done. Excuse me. Coming through here. Right, let's blitz it. We can do this. We can do it. Because they both look like they're pretty close to each other. Not that we need to, because... Uh, Get in, get in. Okay, we've got everybody. We've got everybody. Okay, we do this smoothly. Get this done. And then we're practically done. All the hard stuff in the game, because like I said, the last one is just a cutscene. We're in real trouble now. Are you stoned? I'm not sure if that actually the last mission is required for 100 percent I think once we finish this, we should actually get 100 percent we can always double check. There we go. I've like completed. We've unlocked the pimps up outfit. We've got the holes down. <laughs> Pip cane. Let's go complete the last level of activity. Yes. Same as usual. Let's have a look. So um I did accidentally save over the last save. There we go. We are at hundred percent completion, guys. So yeah, that is the end of the let's play. No, it's not the end of the let's play. Who are we kidding? Who are we kidding? We got one more thing to do. Let's head over to the last mission. On the way, I'm going to pop by and top up all my ammo and stuff so that we're completely sorted with everything. See you up there. All right, guys, here we go. We're at full bars of respect. All our ammo is at its peak. We're fully topped up. We're at 100%. We've done absolutely everything that we can. So now what we're going to do is visit Alderman Hughes. On his yacht. Salting the earth. Your guest is here, Mr. Yos. Thanks, Stephen. If you don't mind, could you wait outside? I'm Richard Hughes. It is a pleasure to meet the man who handed me the election. No, no. need to be modest, I'm serious. Not for that. There's no way I could have beaten Marshall Winslow. God rest his soul. But you made the impossible happen, and for that, I can't thank you enough. I mean, had Winslow been the only person killed, attention would have definitely been cast on me. But after that fireworks display you pulled at his funeral, it's become abundantly clear these horrible crimes were perpetrated by the Third Street Saints. While before people criticized my Saints Row urban renewal plan, it is now being lauded. See, until you came along, I was displacing poor people. Now, I'm destroying a hotbed of gang activity. <laughs> what can I say? The public is fickle. Champagne. Oh, as you get older, you quickly learn that there are only two types of people in this world. Race, money, gender, none of this matters. At the end of the day, you're either a winner or a loser. Now, the sad truth about our situation is that in order for me to be a winner, I have to level your neighborhood and salt the earth. Oh dear. For a moment. Stephen, could you come in here? Where was I? Oh yes, salting the earth. Now I suppose I could try to pay you off, but we 
There's Jules. You just say no, or in your case, stand there looking intimidating, and we'd be right back to where we started. So I figured I'd cut the middleman and get right to the point. Yo, can you speed this shit up? I want to go to Freckle Bitches. You're right <laughs> here, son. Not boss. Make no mistake about that. But if it makes it any easier on you, I'll be sure to thank you in my acceptance speech. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a party to. Oh, oh, oh. That's got a sting. Ouchies. And there you go. That is the end of Saints Row. Well. So there you go. There's, there's a few things in that cutscene that will become brought up in the future games. But yeah, that's quite the, uh, the climax. You end up on the ship, on the yacht, and um, you'll go boom. Definitely have to cut out this music that's playing. Um, but yeah, so uh, I'll turn my headset down so I can't hear it. It's not interrupting me. Yeah. So if you're expecting me to go into Saints Row 2 after this, I won't be because it's already done. It was actually the very first Let's Play that I played on this channel. A little bit dated in some areas. So you could say maybe, maybe one day it may be worth a revisit. Who knows? Uh, but I have played through completely Saints Row 2, Saints Row the Third, Saints Row 4, and Saints Row Get Out of Hell. So this entire story has been covered. But there are a couple of interesting things to end on there, uh, which I'm not going to spoil in case you haven't played those future games. But of course, in that cutscene, we were told that we'll be meeting Julius on the yacht with Alderman Hughes. Of course, he wasn't there, but he was actually overseeing it and seemed to. Um, seem to do something and then walk away. So, hmm, interesting thing there. And also it's revealed there, revealed there that Troy has a police badge. So, yeah, I wonder what's going to come of those things. Hmm, hmm. Yeah, most of those, if not all of them, are addressed in Saints Row 2. So it's de I'd say that's the, one of the greatest games I've ever played, and not all, not only just the best of the Saints Row series. So if you want to watch me play through that, back in 2016 is when I would have been playing that. You can do that. It is on the channel. But yeah, we're now completely done. What a game. What a game. I've really enjoyed it. It is very difficult, though. It is one of the most difficult games I've played. Easily the most difficult of all the Saints Row games, I'd say. Uh, quite merciless in some areas, but it just makes it more all the, all the more satisfying when you get it done. And I'm glad that I can finally have played this game because obviously this is an Xbox 360 exclusive and I didn't think I'd ever be able to play this game, but I found a good port for it for PC, so it means I did actually get to experience this journey. And obviously I knew everything that was going to happen, um, well, for the most part anyway, because I had seen Ron play this game and he played this back in 2014, I think, and made the guide for it and everything like that which is a great way to watch it, and so I have experienced this story before, but to actually play through the story on my own, it's a completely different experience, and I'm so glad I managed to do it, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching me play it. So, yeah, that's it. We're all caught up on Saints Row, or well, sort of, but on this story of Saints Row, the main story of Saints Row, we are caught up. As I said, uh, there is the Agents of Mayhem game, which is based off of one of the endings of uh, Get Out of Hell, and then you've got the reboot of Saints Row, which uh, has not gone down well and has bankrupted Volition, unfortunately, and uh, they've had to close down because of how badly the reboot went. I'm still planning on playing that game. I don't know how well it's going to go, but I do want to actually uh, at least give it a chance. I don't want to have my opinion based off what other people think, because I know a lot of people hate Saints Row the Third, and I really enjoy that game. Um, so yeah, I will get to it eventually, but it's not gonna follow this game up at all what's coming up next in this slot i don't know i haven't decided um i th there is no longer going to be a replacement of uh, a patron suggested game um so it is basically up to me to decide what i want to play next i've got a couple of ideas i did have one idea that I was pretty set on but um and maybe sort of changing my mind on it possibly i don't know um, I may still go, go for go through with it anyway, um, but all will be revealed in the next time you see an episode in this slot. You'll see uh, what it is that I'm playing. So I won't be doing like a okay, and the Patreon winner of this poll is because there isn't going to be one of those. Um, but yeah, 
It's no problem. Really enjoyed this game. Hope you guys have too. And I'll see you next time. Before I pop, let me take a second to thank my amazing patrons. If you want to check out my three pound patron and the description down below, add on screen your secrets by one pound patrons. Thank you so much, everyone. It is truly appreciated and it goes a long way to help with the channel. So I do thank you a lot for that. And if you've got a patron, you can follow the link in the description down below. We don't have to do that because at the end of the day, I hope you guys enjoyed the series. And if you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. This just into the newsroom, a deadly explosion has rocked the waterfront. Our Jane Valderrama is already at the scene. Jack, waterfront residents and the press who were setting up their cameras and microphones to cover the gala fundraiser scheduled for mayoral candidate Hughes' campaign were treated to an amazing sight a few moments ago as the yacht registered to the alderman exploded in a shower of brass and mahogany. We were a safe distance away, so no one here was injured, as, as far as we can tell. But we have no word as to who, if anyone, was actually aboard. We don't know how this happened, why this happened, or even who was on the boat, if anyone, as no survivors have been located. I was inside the press tent when it happened, but witnesses outside say that the peaceful, serene evening was suddenly punctured by a vicious explosion that not only reduced the alderman's yacht to a pile of floating debris, but knocked out windows and swamped smaller boats throughout the marina. Jack? Jane, while you were giving that report, we attempted to contact Alderman Hughes' press secretary, and there was no answer. Do we know where the alderman is? No, we do not, Jack. I've asked around, and no one from the press corps noticed any official movement on the boat, as it's early in the evening, and the event was not scheduled to begin for another couple of hours. Do we know if this was an accident or yet another attempt on the life of a public official? Jack, we don't have any definitive answers on that, and with almost no details emerging yet, we still do not know if this was something as silly as a galley or a fuel tank explosion. But in the light of recent events, we cannot rule out the possibility that this was more than just an accident. Reporting live from the waterfront, this is Jane Valderrama. Back to you, Jack. Thank you, Jane, and stay dry. Stay tuned as we get more details on this unfolding event. We will bring them to you immediately. In the newsroom, I'm Jack Armstrong.